We use energy, lots of energy. But there are going to be some big changes in the way we use energy. The world is running out of oil and natural gas, and we need to find alternative and eco-friendly energy sources. Denmark has the political vision of becoming independent of fossil fuels, and our energy systems will therefore be transformed in the decades to come. Some believe that the transformation is comparable to the effect the internet has had on our everyday lives. In the years to come, energy will be produced, transported and used in a very different and far more efficient manner than the one for which the power system was originally designed. Until recently, our electricity was produced by huge central CHP plants, close to cities and industrial areas, and then transported on to the consumers. This has already changed. Thousands of wind turbines have sprung up, along with hundreds of local CHP plants, numerous photovoltaic cell plants and other local units. To put it simply, today energy is produced everywhere and transported in all directions in the power system. This trend will intensify over the coming years. In future, we will live in intelligent houses that control our energy consumption easily, conveniently and intelligently without us really noticing. Air conditioning, heat pumps, freezers, refrigerators, washing machines and tumble dryers will all be controlled intelligently. The consumer could simply use an ordinary mobile phone or plug in an adapter to automatically start and stop the appliances, depending on the price of electricity. The price of electricity, in turn, depends on how windy it is. Over time, appliances will feature the new technology when we buy them. In future, we will also use electricity for things that previously required a different power source. The petrol car will be replaced with an electric vehicle, and the oil-fired boiler be replaced with an electric heat pump. Electricity and heat consumption patterns will also change as we insulate our houses better or build zero energy houses. Some people will also start to produce their own renewable energy from photovoltaic cells on the roof or generate their energy from small micro CHP units in the basement, from heat pumps or from district heating. In future, we will not just be using electricity, our homes may also be used to store renewable energy. There is no shortage of wind in Denmark. In fact, there is so much of it that wind power could, in theory, cover Denmark's entire energy consumption. Wind power and biomass are the biggest renewable energy resources in Denmark. Because of the large amounts of renewable energy, the power system will be the backbone of the energy system of the future. Over time, renewable energy will gradually displace coal, oil and natural gas in our energy consumption patterns. Heat pumps will, for example, replace oil-fired boilers. Electric boilers will supply energy for district heating, and we will see a growing number of electric vehicles on the road. Power consumption will increase markedly, and a more efficient utilization of energy will make our energy consumption fall. If we are to integrate large amounts of renewable energy into the power system in an efficient, socio-economic way, we must rethink and reconfigure our energy system. The intelligent power grid, smart grid, is the key to realizing this transformation. The green and intelligent power system of the future is composed of several elements. First, we will use much more renewable energy, particularly from biomass and wind power. The large wind power share means that energy production will vary greatly depending on the wind conditions. Second, a strong power grid will be required that is able to transport the large amounts of renewable energy to where the energy will be consumed in an international energy market. Third, consumption will have to be made flexible so that we use green energy not just when we need it, but also when the wind is blowing and the energy is cheap and plentiful. Fourth, we must utilize the renewable energy in an environmentally and socio-economically optimum manner by creating an integrated energy system and controlling it in an intelligent power system, a so-called smart grid. In 
future, our energy needs will increasingly be covered by wind turbines. In just 10 years, up to half of Danish power consumption may be covered by wind power, produced increasingly by large offshore wind farms. Power stations will still be required to supply power when the wind is not blowing. These stations must be able to quickly ramp their output up or down to ensure that power generation and consumption always balance. In the long run, the conventional coal-fired power stations will be phased out and replaced by or converted into power stations running on biomass, biogas or other renewable energy gases. In very windy conditions when wind energy is abundant, electric heat pumps in the district heating plants will in future be able to produce cheap heat which is stored in large storage facilities for later use. It will also be possible, as in this full-scale trial in Denmark, to use advanced computers to jointly control small wind turbines, CHP plants and other local generation units making them operate as a single, integrated, virtual power plant that can intelligently ramp production up or down depending on wind conditions and power consumption. The second element of the green energy system of the future is a strong power grid capable of transporting the large amounts of renewable energy from where it is produced to where it will be consumed in an efficient international electricity market. A strong power grid ensures that energy can be produced where it is cheapest and used where it is needed and where it has the highest value. Large submarine cables will connect new wind farms to the power grid. The power grid will be expanded so we can handle a steep increase in power consumption when we really get going with electric vehicles and start to use heat pumps instead of oil-fired boilers. New strong international connections ensure that the large amounts of renewable energy are transported to consumers in a large geographical area. Strong power links help to ensure that the consumers always receive the cheapest electricity. When wind energy is abundant, we can export it, and on quieter days, we can import hydropower, or in the long term, perhaps also solar energy from southern Europe. In a large competitive international market, supply and demand will guarantee transparent and fair energy prices for the consumers. At the same time, electricity prices will be an effective means of shifting consumption to the times of day when there is a surplus of wind power, and the power grid is not so heavily loaded. The third element in the green and intelligent power system of the future is demand response. In future, energy will not only be produced when it is required. With the many new onshore and offshore wind turbines, energy should be used when it is plentiful and cheap. Unfortunately, electricity is the most perishable commodity in the world. It cannot be stored. It must therefore be used in the same second it is produced. There are no large, cheap batteries that can store the electricity for later use, but electricity can be converted into heat in district heating plants. This is done by using heat pumps and electric boilers, which function as big immersion heaters in enormous hot water tanks. In this way, the surplus wind energy can be stored as hot water that can be used when needed to heat our houses. In the same way, a surplus of wind energy can be converted into heat in our homes, this is done by intelligently controlling hundreds of individual heat pumps as if they were a single, vast energy storage, with the heat being stored in buildings and hot water tanks. Heat pumps work like a refrigerator in reverse. This means that they produce heat instead of cold. They do this by taking advantage of the temperature difference in the ground, for example. When there is no wind and all power generation is needed elsewhere, the heat pumps stop running and the houses start using the stored heat in the hot water tanks. In this way, heat pumps can help to turn power consumption up and down depending on the demand for power, and the house owner will not be able to tell the difference. We will therefore scrap our oil and natural gas-fired boilers, and our homes will primarily be heated by district heating and electric heat pumps. Because of the increasing amounts of wind energy, 
we will be able to displace fossil fuels in transport, concurrently with petrol vehicles being replaced with electric vehicles. But if we all attempt to recharge our cars at the same time when we get home from work, the power grid must be expanded and new power stations will be required to meet the increased demand for electricity. This is where intelligent charging comes in. Intelligent charging means charging at times when there is spare capacity in the power system and when the electricity produced by wind turbines is plentiful and therefore cheap. And because the power system is intelligent, electric vehicles will recharge at the best time for the system, thus ensuring that the vehicles are always charged and ready for use. Eventually, thousands of electric vehicles could act as a giant electricity storage facility. The electricity could then be sold back to the power system when we do not need to drive anywhere. After all, the car is mostly just parked at home or at work. And all this happens automatically and intelligently without us even noticing. It will be possible to replace oil and natural gas-fired boilers in private households with a micro CHP unit. This is a personal power plant that can easily fit into the basement, occupying only as much space as a normal refrigerator. Using fuel cells, the micro unit converts either hydrogen or natural gas into electricity and heat in the house. If it is windy and electricity therefore cheap, homeowners can buy the electricity and convert it into hydrogen. The hydrogen is stored and can later be converted into electricity and heat for the house. In the long term, homeowners will also be able to use their micro CHP unit to sell surplus electricity back to the power system when there is no wind and the electricity price is high, for example. In future, we will be consumers and producers of electricity at the same time, with an electric car in the garage, heat pump coils under the lawn, a micro CHP unit in the basement and photovoltaic cells on the roof we will become what are known as prosumers, producers and consumers of energy. The houses of the future are insulated and energy optimized for extremely low energy consumption. Zero energy or plus energy houses will be built and will be able to intelligently control the charging of the electric car, our heat consumption and the starting and stopping of the washing machine and other electric appliances and the whole process will be as easy as using a modern smartphone. All this will be possible if we use our energy intelligently. The energy system of the future is intelligent. We call it Smart Grid. Advanced computer control supports the digital monitoring, coordination and control of power generation, transport, load management and consumption. Building a smart grid represents the biggest change in the power system since Denmark, along with the rest of the world, switched from direct current to alternating current. Some people even draw parallels with the Internet. Just as the Internet revolutionized in a few years the way we communicate with each other, the smart grid rollout will revolutionize our everyday lives and the way we use energy. Smart Grid is the key to integrating large amounts of renewable energy into the power system. Smart Grid intelligently binds the entire energy system together and is the most effective way of expanding the power system to meet the challenges of the future. In the 19th and 20th centuries, electrification helped to drive the Industrial Revolution. In the 21st century, Smart Grid is likely to be the most significant contribution to the transition to a sustainable society based on renewables, to the benefit of people, the economy and the environment throughout the world.